Button, button, who's got the button? Well, if somebody's pressing your button, it's your button and you're the only one that can get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Buttons are basically triggers. And when somebody's pressing your buttons, it means they're triggering something. The way they're saying something, acting, doing something, you're having a reaction. And triggers can be so tough when it comes to relationship because they can activate fights that we don't even want to be fighting about and all sorts of mayhem in your relationship. So how do you deal with a trigger when you're, well, triggered? How do you get rid of the button when someone's pressing it? Well, this is one trick that I learned a long time ago that I hope you'll find helpful. So I have come to learn that being in relationship with anybody, but especially a romantic relationship, the one I have with my husband, is that we are here to help each other grow and that uh, we abide by principle number one in the Eden World Principles, the relationship community that we steward, which is all about he and I are both here to help us elevate our consciousness and to grow ourselves. And if we're hitting up against something and we're having triggers, well, that is the perfect opportunity, another Eden Principle, what's in the way is the way, right? To really see what in me is needing tending to. Maybe there's a belief system. Maybe there's something I haven't spoken up for. Maybe there's something I need to request. Maybe there is a pain point or a past trauma that I haven't quite resolved. And when my beloved or any beloved says or does something that has me react to it, that's my opportunity to see that more clearly in myself. I wouldn't know it was even there if I'm just going about my business and I'm not feeling triggered. But as soon as the trigger activation happens, I get to see myself more clearly. So from that perspective, a long time ago, early on in our relationship, I started to do this practice that would help me clear that trigger and come back into a loving heart space with him so that I could actually be more connected through whatever the situation or the conversation that we were having and actually grow faster and heal quicker. And that was whenever I could feel myself get triggered, instead of wanting to react, I would remember that one thing, he is here to help me see myself more and I've committed to personal evolution in this lifetime. And I would immediately go into what I call my thank you mantra. Even if I had to do it through clenched, clenched teeth, thank you, thank you, thank you, I would go into, wow, I'm really triggered. Okay, wow, he's gifting me with this opportunity to see myself. And I would go into thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you in my head. And I would just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until I could really find that space of gratitude for what he was eliciting in me because it wasn't his trigger, it was my trigger. <laughs> and I'm the only one that could change how I react. So by bringing in that thank you mantra through the remembrance of he's here to help me see where I need to tend to and evolve or grow myself, then it's actually a positive thing, what's in the way is the way, positive thing to support me in my growth. So next time you're feeling triggered by anybody, but especially with a partner, give it a try. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, until you can find yourself in a state where you're able to actually engage without the trigger. It certainly helped me and I hope it helps you too. And if you're looking for more tips and tricks and tools just like this and a place to practice them in a community of other amazing growth-minded, committed couples. I invite you to check out our upcoming weekend, Generosity and Grace, and you're invited and you can learn about it in a link somewhere in here, down there, up there, below. And it's happening December 3rd and 4th. And you're going to learn uh, the grace technique actually, which will help you much like what I just taught you, how to find more grace so you can bring more generosity of heart into your relationship and beyond. I hope you'll join us. See you there. Thank you.